Hello everybody, this is Mishinxie, and this is Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we uh, did a lot of cutscenes about um, Link's Loftwing. So, we now need to go find Link's Loftwing that um, has gone missing. Bruce and his, and his uh, little cronies are the main suspects. And where we need to go, exactly, well, you can go to a certain place. The place we need to go is here, right there, on the map. However, we do need to get something else first, because if we go there, it's blocked off. So, let's go here, and talk to this person with a speech bubble over his head. Link, perfect timing. I heard your lock wing has gone missing, so I thought I'd join them in the search. And get this, when I asked Fledge what I knew, he started acting weird. I'm sorry, Link. I really wanted to tell you, but if Bruce found out I told you... It sounds like Bruce forced him to keep quiet about the set. Go on. Tell him the truth. Just a little while ago, while I was when I was cleaning the dining hall, Bruce and his buddies came in. They didn't notice I was there and started talking about their plan to hide your lock wing. I wanted to warn you, Link, but just as I tried to sneak away, Bruce and his gang grabbed me. They said that if I told you, they'd make sure I would never be able to ride a bird ever again. It sounds like Bruce and his buddies had a plan to capture your bird and hide him near a waterfall. Well, near a waterfall would mean... Quick, let's take a look at your map. That's it, right there. I think it means the waterfall might appear with an X. So as you see, right there, there is a waterfall there. However, the entrance to the area we need to go is right there. So, let's just exit. You know how to read a map, right? Press plus at any time to see a map of the area. If you get lost, just press plus. Forgive me. Forgive me, Link. I can't help being such a coward. I'm really sorry. So, we have now got, um, well, a target. We need to go there. However, you will not be able to get in, as I just said. There's a, um, vines blocking, or trees, sorry. So, we need to go into the sparring hall. Let's see if we can find something to chop them trees down. Hey, it's Link! So you still want to get in some sword practice, even though today is the wing ceremony? I'm impressed. The sword is in the back room. Go back there and get it. I'll be here for a while, so if there's anything you don't understand about what's handling the sword, go ahead and ask me. Okay, so let's go get the sword. This is the first major weapon of the game. And um, as you see, it's in its own little ch chest here. Let's just grab it. You got a practice sword. Students at the Knight Academy practice with ease. It looks like it has a fairly sharp blade. Press 1 at any time to look at the items you're carrying. Okay, so let's just press 1, and as you see, the practice sword is now here. Basic sword used by knights in training, the blade still has a sharp edge. Okay, so, um, I should actually probably go out here to explain this, um, more room. Um, simply shake the Wii Remote to draw the sword. Um, it, it is motion sensor, so you need Wii Motion Plus. You can slash in any direction you want to. And, as you see, there are certain holes in the wood where you need slash. Poke forward to do a um, stab. Just cut that way to do that, uh, how, that diagonal slice. That would do that diagonal slice. This there is no way to destroy, but it's just practicing, um, well, moving this around really. Nothing to do with that. Here, horizontal slice, or is it vertical? I don't know, I think that one's horizontal and this one's vertical. That's right, Link. You really are a strong swordsman. Easy to teach, too. You make this instructor proud. Are you ready to try a spin attack? Okay. In this game, you come already with your spin attack. Great. Now I'm going to surround you with logs. You need to cut them all without moving from that spot. All you need have to do is wave the Wii Remote and nunchuck horizontally at the same time. Give it a shot. So, wave them horizontally, and you do a spin attack. Good one! That sure looks like it felt good. So, why don't you try a fatal blow so clo to close out our session? Sure. Alright, when your energy is down, target it with Z and wave the Wii Remote and Nunchuck at the same time to land a fatal blow. Do a side slash at that log. When it's down, try finishing it off with this technique. So, do that, and then, fatal blow. That's the way! A fatal blow is awesome and effective. 
active move to use right after you've used your shield or a well placed spin attack to knock an enemy on its back. Oh, but monsters don't stay down for long, so you'll have to wait for Wii Remote to nunchuck quickly before they get back on their feet. Okay, so that is all we need to do. Try and exit and Hey Link! You can't take swords outside the sparring hall. What do you think you're doing, sneaking out with that? So, he'll automatically walk up and what? Your lockman is missing? You want to go look for it? Well, I guess I could make an exception just this once, but remember that Skyloft is a peaceful place, only knights carry swords, so I don't want to see you swinging it around like crazy out there, and I don't want to get in a ton of trouble over this, so here's the deal. Make sure you get plenty of practice on these logs first, and once you get outside with that sword, only use it when you absolutely have to. Got it? Okay. Fine, I suppose I'll have to do what you say, you'll be instructor. But you can't see outside these wooden doors. <laughs> so? I do not know why he warns you, because look, it is going through Pippet. That's his name, by the way, Pippet and Fledge. Just goes through them. And I just forgot to mention, horizontal is doing that, spin them, well, shake the remote and nunchuck either left or right, or up and down. It is awesome what you can do in this game. I, I love the way they've done sword control. And start going, and another cutscene. But this one's slightly different. There is a Gossip Stone. We haven't seen one of those, um, well, since Gar well, since Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Hey, friend, walk yourself on over here and say hello. Actually, I'm not sure. Are they in different games? I'm not sure. How do you do? I'm what you call a Sheikah Stone. Glad to meet you. Oh, this is Sheikah Stone, not Gossip Stone. I'm a stone of few words, so I'll get right to it. You're going to find yourself in puzzling circumstances as you make your way through this world. If you should find yourself stuck and you have no idea how to move forward, come see me. I've got nothing for you right now, but down the road when you're feeling stuck, the thing I'll show you may just get you back on the right track. Good luck out there, friend. Okay, so yeah, if we ever need to know what to do, we can just go to him. Now, I never use him. Literally, ever. Just never need to. So, don't, don't worry about him too much. I'm pretty sure you won't need to use him that often. Um, the trees haven't reset their roofers just yet. I'm not sure when they do reset, reset them, actually. But, um, yeah, stamina fruit. I always end up getting them. I get quite a lot of them. Um, just because I like running, well, dashing all the time. Um, now, these are blocking the way. These people. <laughs> Did you hear the news? One of the students in the wing ceremony has lost his bird. It's gone missing. Oh, really? That's terrible. To tell the truth, I'm not comfortable around birds. It's their talons. They look so sharp and painful. I understand. I hate all animals because they all look sharp and dangerous. <laughs> now, we cannot go over there, and I don't... To be honest, I do not know why I just dived into the water. But, we want... Oh. <laughs> we want to go over here and up here um, across these stones. That will get us to the waterfall cave. Now I believe there's a yes blue rupee right there. Um, so that's 20 rupees we've got just from trees. 25 rupees we've just got from trees. It is quite a lot. You do get quite a lot. But as you see now on the map, well here, um, not trees actually, they're spikes. <laughs> Um, later on in the game, they add normal trees. There's Link's crop, uh, loft wing. And as you see on the map, right here near the entrance, not where the X is, we cannot actually get up to where the X is for quite a while. Um, just... Oh, come on. Oh, come on! There we go, thank you. <laughs> um, it is a bit hard to aim at them, especially at the filming angle I'm at. So, First enemy of the game, Keys. These drop hearts and rupees. Green rupees and blue rupees, I believe. Green rupees are worth one. Hearts, of course, we fill help. And they also drop a little something called Monster Claws. We'll get into them when we actually um, find one. That enemy there is a Choo Choo. They, um, quite simple, do not stab them. They do not get killed by you stabbing them. Um, they drop a Jelly Blob. I believe, but yet again, that's a treasure we'll get into later. Oh, it's attacking me. Its eyes glow red when they attack. Oh, keys take two hits. Okay. Um, yeah, didn't drop anything. 
Um, oh, I've missed something. I do not want to miss it. Here, we can fold, well, not even fall down. Jump across, and here's a tre treasure chest. Containing a red rupee. So, 20 rupees more, and, um, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If, if a choo-choo grabs hold of you, shake the Wii remote to grab, get uh, rid of it. There's another insect there, a starry firefly, or whatever they're called, I can't remember. Um, we cannot catch it just yet. You can actually kill insects by either on land stamping over them or striking them with your sword. So do be careful with that. As you can see here, stabbing it does nothing. So do not just stab them. <laughs> it does not die. Um, there should be something else around here, I believe. Oh, that key, sorry. Oh, no. There we go. Um, I, I just collect any rupees I find, really. It's useful. To, well, useful to get into a habit of doing it, because later on, you need a lot of rupees. Here, there are vines. Climb up, and there's another chest, including three pots with two half. Oh, and another insect. Um, cannot get down just yet, as yet again we don't have the bug net, which was previously mentioned. But there is a red rupee. So, let's just go down. Oh, another one of them. There's a lot of enemies in here. Um, I have not yet got treasure from them, but I believe you can get treasures from them. In this cave, at least. Now. Um, another keys. Uh, two hits. And... There. Okay. Oh, another keys. Um... Oh, you just saw down there where that little ghost is. Well, it looks like a Pitman ghost, actually, when you kill a Pitman. Um, that was where I killed an insect. There's two red rupees there, so 40 rupees. Keep in mind we can only carry 150 at this stage, and I've already got 136. Um, oh, in case I knew there was one there. Oh, there we go. Okay, um, and there's the exit. So, um, there, it's a really short dungeon, you can get a lot of rupees though. A lot. There's another bird statue, I won't bother saving. Link! Hey Link, I was hoping I'd find you here. I heard you'd gone searching for your, lock, your bird around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around and help you look. How's your search going? Any sign of your lock win? Oh no. Well, not, let's not use, lose help here yet. There's a place up here that Bruce and his gang are always hanging around. Maybe we'll find something there. Huh? Who, who's that? Who's calling for me? Oh, sorry Link. I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. Okay, so let's just go down here. Zelda follows you a lot slower than you run, but meh. And once you get down here... Look, there he is! There's your Crimson Loftwing. No doubt about it. That's your Loftwing, Link! So, um, you need to draw the sword there. There's barrels in the way. And ropes. Uh, make Make sure you do the right sort of slash for the ropes. Um, there we go. Right. Yeah, simple. And your loft wing is free. We should hurry, Link. Now that your lock is free, you should apply to the ceremony. But before you go, I have to ask you something. I... I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? It's been happening a lot lately. It's the strangest feeling. Almost like someone is calling out to me. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say that it's an empty, barren place, or even that there's nothing at all down below, but I just have this feeling that they're wrong. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world under there, far more vast than Skyloft. The thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it, and our Lothlings won't fly through the cloud barrier. 
but I can't help imagining the wild things that might be waiting below. Someday, I want to see for myself. <laughs> oh, sorry Link, we don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Look, your bird's waiting for you. Just leap off the edge and press down on the D-pad. Don't worry about falling, your bird will catch you for sure this time. The link will automatically fall down, and then you'll be able to take control. Once this white screen goes, <laughs> press down one on the D-pad to whistle and call your locked one. Until fact, I cannot actually whistle. <laughs> I really want to be able to whistle, but I cannot for the life of me do it. Um, so this is just a tutorial of how to use your locked one. So it's really quite simple. Shake the remote to flap up and um, poke your Wii Remote d down to die. Run, yeah, just through basics. Change direction is fine by tilting the Wii Remote to left and right. When you want to speed up, tilt the Wii Remote up to gain some altitude, then point the Wii Remote down to drop into a fast dive. You can either do that, or just um, flat up. <laughs> yeah, quite simple. Do you think it's flying alright? Yeah. Let's say, there's nothing unusual about this, it's just normal. Press, oh, press A to charge as well. It's an attack which is a burst of speed, and press B to slow down. So that's B and A to do a burst of speed. And we've found Loftwing. I mean, sorry, Skyloft. <laughs> um, as I said, this, I, oh wow, we can't get any closer. <laughs> Well, that's a huge relief. I don't know about you, Link, but your loved one looks like he's flying great. My father and the others are probably worried about you or a bird. So let's go give them the good news. So, that is it for that tutorial. Um, I shall end the episode here because there's going to be quite a big um, a bit coming up. And, um, yeah, in next episode we shall do the wing ceremony. So, I bid you all farewell. Bye.